Let me tell you about the man I met when I was still young. In 2029, we discovered a top-secret document left by a long-dead military regime. It detailed an unrealized weapons program known as Project Albatross. Learning of this, the power-hungry commander of the Imperial Army, Generalissimo Kilt, stole the plans and decided to execute the project himself. The Federation's top agent, Joseph Gibson, Super Joe, was sent in to put a stop to his plans, but all contact with him was lost. One man has been ordered to infiltrate the Imperial territory and rescue Super Joe. This is where our story begins. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bionic Commando Trilogy! As you can see, we finished Bionic Commando last time, and now we're starting Bionic Commando Rearmed. Yes, this has a whole bunch of new stuff in here. You have challenge rooms, which are just, just little challenges for you with, with your controller and your Bionic arm, which a lot of them are a lot of fun. A lot of them make you want to rip out your hair. Uh, you got multiplayer, which... Uh, I've never really gotten in, gotten into it because, well, there's nobody really to play with. <laughs> um, the database, which you can just look up information about the game. Options, which I'm going to check out real quick because uh, I want to make sure the sound and music are okay. Yeah, they're all right. Um, medals, you know, your achievements. And I started one uh, earlier. Funny fact about that one, though. Uh, I did a whole segment, like whole 30-minute segment. And then I come to find out that fra I forgot to turn on the... Uh, this thing for fraps. Oops. <laughs> I was having fun too, but who knows? Maybe maybe I can match or even make it better than last time. I don't know. Uh, but right now we're going to start a new game. Uh, you can do a two-player co-op. I don't know how that would work. And then a basic tutorial, which I don't need. I'm not going to use it. So, yes, let's do it. Uh, we're going to go with medium. Captain, do you read me? Here are your mission objectives. Your first priority is to find and rescue Super Joe. We don't know where the Imperials are keeping him captive, so you'll have to intercept their communications and track down his whereabouts. Your secondary objective is to slow down the Imperial advance by causing any disruption you can at their installations. Your pilot, Haley, will transport you and keep track of your progress in the mission log. Now, proceed into the war zone. Tread carefully and make us proud, son. Over and out. And we have the map. It looks a hell of a lot. It looks a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Welcome on board, Captain. I'm Haley. I'll be your pilot for this mission. I'll keep the comm line open at all times. Just give me a holler when you're in trouble and I'll get you to safety. Good to hear, Haley. So, who did you make mad to end up with this duty? Ha! <laughs> Don't let my looks fool you, Captain. This guy has more stones than any other pilot in the force. Good. Then let's get this mission in the air. <laughs> yes, sir. There's a tutorial in Area Double Zero, which we'll be going to. Not to the tutorial, just Double Zero. So let me know if you want to land there or if you want to proceed. Straight into the battle zone. Alright, the FSA headquarters. Which, in the original, you couldn't go into Area Zero. Uh, here you can. You can get a good feel of how things work. And, like that. Oh, there we go. 
Whee! If you want, and if you want, like, different... Every uh, neutral area has a room like this. You can access challenge rooms, in this case, the tutorials. But we don't need that, or at least I don't. If, you, if you're playing this and this is your first time playing, then you might need it, but I don't. Uh. Ah! That was a bit of lag, I apologize. So the main reason you go in here is to get an upgrade for your gun. Normally you can fire just two shots, and not very well. Here, now with the upgrade, three shots. Which comes actually comes in more ha is handier than you think. Now this here, there in the, each area, there each of the main twelve areas, there is a yashi, uh, yashishi, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Um, and I'll be showing off where you can get those in this particular save file. Even if you restart, they're already picked up and everything. So, but oh well, I can at least show you those their locations. Um, but yeah, you get those, that opens this up, and you get something for the uh, 2009 game, which I think is the Purple Matrix. Yeah, so anyway. We got the power up, I've showed you what happens when you get the 12 Yashishis. Yeah, see all those areas there? There's one in each of them. And I'll probably make a separate video showing where each of those are. Um, unless that just happens to be along my route, and I can easily get in and out of it. Um, so, you know. But anyways, area one is the oil refinery. Listen to that. Yeah, I mean, you've already heard some of it. Just the, just the upgraded music, the updated music. Oh my god, it's amazing. And soldiers are a little smarter this time around. One of their, uh, one of their improvements is the uh, computer AI. Soldiers will dive behind things if if they can. Of course. Ow! Well, there goes my no damage bonus. <laughs> Alright, as with the original, the objective of every level, get in here, talk to headquarters. Captain Spencer, it's such an honor to work with you. I'm Agent MA1. Pleasure's all mine, so what have you got for me? First things first, there are communications rooms like this in every Imperial base. You should try to access them all. See? They might hold valuable information, and once you've established contact with us from a base, we can upload the access codes to your arm. That way you can open doors that were previously unlocked. Sounds good. Also, I managed to disable the network security in this facility. The alarm won't go off now, even if you fail when you try to hack their network. There's a difference. In the original, it was wiretapping. Here, it's hacking. Uh, update with the times. Why not? You should use this opportunity to hone your hacking skills. This might be your only chance to do so without the risk of sounding the alarm. I'll give it a shot. Good job, Agent. My pleasure. Underneath your current location, there's a cave. There's an in the entrance is close by. I've loaded the access code up to your arm. So doors are unlocked after I've acquired the access codes. Got it. Yep. Try to contact H HQ frequently, at least when you enter a new area. Well, I look forward to working with you, Captain. MA1 out. And here, I'm probably going to hack a little bit more often than I tried to wiretap because these things actually... It's not up to chance. See? But, that's okay. You turned off the thing so nobody will come back. Nobody will come... Nobody will come looking for me. But you move them around. Up, down, left, right. All three-dimensional and shit. Your goal, obviously, if you can tell. That right there. <laughs> Alright, sir, here's the status report you requested on the D1 Beetle. Apparently, it has only one shield protecting either the top or the bottom of the hull. Regardless, I think it's safe to say the D1 Be Beetle is pretty much impregnable. Why is that, Private? Well, the flight control can't system can't be damaged by ordinary gunfire. Only a severely violent impact can do any damage. That's reassuring. Yeah. Yeah, and you hear that buzzer, too. Thankfully, it's not going to bring out any other troops, but... At least not not this level, but in later levels it will. We hi. Another thing that's new: picking up barrels. Let's go bowling. Ow. 
Motherfucker. Alrighty. Swing around, swing around. And watch, somebody's gonna comment. Wait, wait, do you think he's gay? No. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, to get the first Yashishi thing, you have to swing out all the way over there and swing up. Uh, which again, I'll show in a separate video. Another nice thing about this... Well, well let's go take care of the other room first, because I kind of want to... Kind of want to have this taken care of. Okay. Captain Spencer, I forgot to tell you. If you fail in your attempt to hack an enemy network, their alarm will go off, so be careful, alright? Gotcha. So what's the payoff for hacking then? Boss strategy. Valuable data. If the information is protected, then it's probably very useful. Not some incoherent rambling between bored soldiers or anything. Yeah, it might be worth the effort. I'll keep it in mind. Meanwhile, it'll automatically stop on its own, but you can always stop it early by pressing the A button. Well, assuming you're using an Xbox controller. Anyway, another hacking. I wish I could simulate sweat. There we go. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Private, I'm having second thoughts about the D1 d Beetle design. Aren't there a lot of barrels in the room where the D1 Beetle is kept? Yes, sir, there are plenty of barrels. After all, we're drilling for oil here. Don't be a wise guy. Do you think, don't you think that an oil barrel thrown into the D1 Beetle could damage its flight control system? I guess it could, although that would only immobilize the D1 Beetle briefly. The real weak spot is the rear of the engine, which of course is a well-kept secret. Not anymore. Besides, who could get in there and start throwing barrels around? Ha <laughs> ha you're right. How silly of me to worry. Ha 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 Ruffle. <laughs> what the... What the fuck? Ruffle. Stop laughing and get off the floor, Private. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they don't... They take some some things aren't taken as seriously. It's still a serious storyline, but you know some things just you know you gotta have some humor. But what wasn't in the original game is this area over here, which gives you a chance to try this and get over here for one up. Sweet. Oh, you hiding from me? How nice. Strike! And you're not getting away with that either. I, I saw what he was holding. They have people with rockets already. Ow! Oh, you mother. Whoa. Hi! Oh, shit. That was weird. Oh, well. We can go the way they intended me to go, which is this way. <laughs> Oop! Don't forget that. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Now there's something that I can do with this, at least a little easier. Yeah, I'm not sticking around there. Okay, first boss, the D1 Beetle. Oh, keep quiet, you little chatterbox. What did you call me? That's it. Next stop, the junkyard. Population, you. The D1 Beetle, prototype automated defense robot. Patter. So, as we glean from the the uh, hacked conversations, we take a barrel, throw it up at him, 
Not quite like that. Hey, come here. Thank you. Yeah, we gotta throw it up and hit that bottom there. Boom! There we go. Now I'll start. Now I'll start whooping its ass, literally. It'll flip around, so you have to go up here. Barrels will protect you from its gunshots, by the way. See? There we go! Boom! Yeah! Yes, I may do that dorky little dance every time. <laughs> Uh five minutes? That's not so bad. Well, I suppose they don't count talky time. But we got grenades! They can be thrown over enemy cover, and if you crouch while if you throw them while crouching, they'll drop down on the platform beneath you. Climb above the enemy and use your bionic arm with the grenades to fully enjoy the advantage of higher ground. Um But yes, as you'll notice there are secrets in every level. There's at least one to three secrets per level. And again, I'll do another video showcasing all of them. Um, but for right now. Area 13. The neutral areas in this zone are basically just FSA outposts in this game. So you can fire to your heart's content, OMFG! Yeah, nobody's gonna come and attack me or anything. Hey, look, Super Joe! <laughs> uh. Whee! Whoop! Sleep on the job, soldier? So what's in here? In here? Flare bombs. Well, flares, really. They're very useful for dark areas. There's not too many dark areas in the game, but there are at least more than one, unlike the original that had only the one in Area 4. Woo! That was fun. Okay. And each of the neutral areas past uh, Area 0 is going to have a room like this with a 1-up. All of them. Okay. With those flares, the pitch black darkness of Area 4 won't be a problem anymore. The place will be lit up like an amusement park. Oh, well, not quite. Okay, I'm not ready to tackle you guys yet. Alright. <clears throat> Area 4, the weapon storage cave. Woo! Weapons. Maybe we could... F maybe there could be some... Maybe there would be good weapon we can use. And it also teaches you, if you hadn't learned it yet, you pull things. Just like this. Ja boom This is fun. This gives you a chance to... Oh, got him. Good. There's a knife-wielding guy down there, which are inexplicably stronger than the guys with guns. I don't understand that. There we go. And in here we go. Hey, Captain. I made you an MA-3. I didn't know if you'd get this far what, with it being so dark, but there are flares in the FSA camp in Area 13 that you can use. I already got them. Roger that. I made sure you could proceed through the area now without too much fuss, apart from the pitch black darkness. And the armed guards. Oh, crap. You better stay cool, man. Yeah, if things turn sour, Haley is just a call away. Yeah, I heard about her. Brash, talented, and a real fox. Aww. Don't suppose you could put a good word in for me, eh? Good luck, man. Uh-huh. Somebody's got a crush. Alright, so hacking again. Uh, in the original recording, I actually failed this one. <laughs> Which, thankfully, is not as bad as it would have been in the NES game. NES game, they, enemies do come, but they just come right into that room. They don't, they don't spread it out over the rest of the level. Uh, sir, what are we going to do about the first platoon? I don't know, Private. They're completely relentless. Their commander is so weird. He has enough metals on his chest to absorb the r impact from a ravaging rhino. Holy shit. And with that horde of suicidal men at his disposal, no one can outflank him. Oh, give me time. No wonder he lives to get more medals. Where is he going to place them next? On his back? It's the only space left on that tacky uniform of his. Again, boss tactics. That's why you get these things. Ah. Hi. How you doing? Ow! You bastard. 
Come here. Oh. Look, here's a crack. That should be a secret. Yep. That leads into one of the twelve, um, challenge room rooms. Again, each one, each area has a place where you can get 12 challenge rooms for the menu. Ah. Oh, hey, you can't get me. Hi, have a present. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th that kind of room, each area has 12 of them. Each area has them rather. Blah, 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 blah. Die, will ya? There you go. And now, the first platoon. Just fire away. This battle is obviously in two phases. Hi, how you doing? And yes, you actually get an achievement for deflecting enough shots. Say, identify yourself! Mehappy was that bionic nuisance that's been roaming around lately. You think? How very observant of you. Oh my! How disrespectful! First platoon! Make ready! Engage! Listen closely, fellas. This is the last thing you'll see before the light at the end of the tunnel. So who's first? <laughs> Commander Totmacher. Totmacher and his loyal legion. This guy can't shoot him like this, obviously. Can't can't bionic him. You can do this. Or this. Basically we need to do this. There you go. Bye bye. He's gone. Once he's gone, you get just gotta flip over here and there you go. Yes. <laughs> And we get the plasma rifle, which works better. Well, Haley will explain it in just a moment. Hey. What did you find down there? A Raytech plasma repeater? All right, that weapon is great for neutralizing energy fields. Those shields, like those shields carried by some Imperials, it's also good against mechanical enemies. We get a laser, and just like the just like the pistol, we'll get well revolver or whatever it's supposed to be called. We will get um, upgrade an upgrade for it later on, which I will show. Don't go to war hungry. Well, I'm not hungry, so I guess that works. Uh, in there, of course, more challenge rooms. Blah, 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 blah. Aw, oh, shit. One of the few... I, I think this is one of the one of those areas where you can actually die. Um, yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, what do you say? It's the challenge simulation. Oh, pfft. Okay. You're just telling me about the challenge simulator. La, la, la. Sometimes, sometimes you miss. Whee! All right. And in the previous game, we had communicators that we had to pick up. Here is chips, and they just get used automatically. You don't have to select them before going into each level, as you've seen. Um. So yeah, that makes the using the communicators a little easier. And again, like I said, every area. You know what? I had it last time. You try and replicate something. Shit, man. There we go. Oh, shit. Ow! Okay. I keep forgetting there's spikes down there. Why do they have spikes over there, anyway? What is the point of this? I mean, it, I mean, I mean does it fall within Rome Mithril's, you know, little... Uh, um, ah, damn, what do you call it? Does it fall within Rome Mithril's little little theory about one-ups? They want you to die so that they can feel useful or something? I don't know. The green communicator chip is good for Area 2, Area 3, and Area 6, too. 
I think. I know it's a little tedious to have using to have to use these comm chips, but remember that contact with HQ is essential to this mission. Yeah. I can't read apparently. What I can do is check out this one. Alright. Yeah, and yes, I will show off the plasma rifle. Just a moment. Not gonna do it here. Woo! Grenades! Hi! How you doing? Yes. That's something new about these overhead areas. Those trucks. They'll keep... They'll make... They'll keep producing enemies until they're destroyed. They also come with a free one-up. Aren't they nice? Ah, crap. Ow. That's the only thing about this area. Sometimes the shots... There we go. Boom! Goodbye. And we just blow this thing up. Yes! I got the motorcycle with it! <laughs> and once that's done, then you can move on. They'll come back, though. They always will. Area 5. we got a few more minutes. The construction site. Hmm. Now, how about that? Hi, how you doing? Now, at some point, there, there are two secrets here. One requires me to get up a certain area, probably a little higher up than this, and then swing all the way out to the right. That, I believe, is the Yashi. Yashishi, or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be called. Hi! How you doing? Stand up for your country, sir. Or not. Makes no difference to me. I'll kill you anyway. <laughs> Ah, but I think it is, like, right up here you have to start swinging and make it over there. Or you can just get to the very, very top of the level, and you can do it that way. That's definitely the easier way to do it. At least I would think so. I never tried it from the top. And I'm not about to. Not, 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 not here. Not unless I have to go backtrack or something. Players of the original game will rem remember this fucker as an annoying little nuisance. Now it's just reduced to background decoration. Ha 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 How's it feel? Alright. Captain Spencer, do you read me? Loud and clear, sir. I'm Agent MA2. Our intelligence tells us that the Imperials have changed the assembly line in this construction site to build something unusual. We're trying to find out what. I've uploaded the codes for this base. Proceed through the area and report back with any findings. Got it, sir. Remember, this isn't boot camp anymore. This is war, Captain. Most FSA recruits are green as they come, and that's what gets them killed. Keep your head down and your mind sharp, soldier. Roger that, sir. Spencer out. If he's a captain, then... Uh, I don't know. Anyways, let's hack. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go this way. Okay. And here. And uh, here. Oh, not there. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, it, it, it can sometimes if if your perception is off a little bit. Private, have you fixed that problem with the track on the siege machine that I mentioned? The weak link? Yeah, I uh, sort of repaired it, sir. What do you mean, sort of, private? Er, uh oh, the continuing drama. Oh yeah, so these guys. Oh! Wow, that was a good save. This is supposed to work better on mechanical enemies. I don't really see much of a difference. And I'll show if, and once I get the upgrade, I'll be able to charge. Oh, here we go. Ah, come on. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. No, no, no! Oh! Oh my god, that was close. Holy shit. Ow! Motherfucker, come here. 
Come on, shoot me in the back. Not. Yeah, these aren't as good against uh, organics. I have a barrel. Damn, missed. Ah! And they got me. Damn. Those things are just as annoying as they were in the original. My timing could use some work, though. Okay then. Okay, seriously? What the hell? And yeah, I know, I, I think I can still knock him down with my bionic arm, but I'm just pissed off at him. Fuck him. You don't get the bionic arm treatment. You get death. I, I, I bring death upon you who brought me death. That is so much easier to handle. Now this, this I believe hides this area's um, challenge rooms. Which you have to get, which you have to go like to the very end. Okay, you come here. Die. Alright, do this again. Spencer here. I'm no closer to figuring out what the Imperial's plan, sir. Damn it! Anyway, I've got some intel for you, soldier. Not too long ago, a shipment of munitions passed through here on its way to a weapon storage facility nearby. Maybe they left something useful. Keep your eyes open. Move out. Okay. And we hack again. Hi. <laughs> Looks like there's only one way. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, some of them it's a little hard to tell, but... Usually simplistic. And we are going over time here, holy shit. Sir, I know what you were worrying about the Siege Machine's armor plates. I looked into it. I'm listening, Private. The armor is perfectly safe, sir. It's held in place by big, sturdy bolts. The bolts are really tightly fastened, but it, can, but it doesn't matter because... Yep, yeah, they are, okay. Because no one at ground level could reach them anyway. Good work, Private. Yeah. Captain Dingus and Private Dumbass. <laughs> Another thing I like, you can switch weapons on the fly. And instead of just picking one weapon for the entire goddamn level... Ah! Yeah, fuck you. Getting in my way, huh? Okay, there we go. Now what you have to do to get to that other area, you have to hit this and then go all the way back down there to the door that opens. Oh, this thing. This thing's fun! Hey, anybody home? Hey! Did I just hear something? It looks like <laughs> look at him. Where'd you get that? Yeah, that would be the sound of your inevitable defeat. Man, this is my lucky. I'll make you eat those words, boy. Don't give me no sass. You'll have to catch me first. <laughs> A3 military armored mobile mobile artillery, also known as Mama. Oh no, you don't. So as you can see, there, there's a little glowing thing at the at the bottom there, and you gotta he keep hitting the glowing things until the, the little track blows up. Come here. Boom! Or just throw a grenade at it. Oh, I actually have to make it chase me. Oops. Ah, oh, these things. I hate those. There it goes. It has to chase me, and then... There we go. Ah. Oh, ooh. There they go. Before it chases you... Yay! One more and we can do it. One more should do it. 
There you go. Thank you. Come on. Now, there are two ways to do it. One, you can just shoot the bastard. And two, I think this is the way you can do it. Let's find out. We're going to experiment, kids. I think this will just take him out outright. Yep. That's the easy way. <laughs> but that takes care of Area 5. We have the bazooka. It's not the rocket launcher like it was named in the original. It's the bazooka. You don't hold back on firepower, do you, Captain? A bazooka? A tad excessive, don't you think? No, wait. It's perfect. There's an outer wall closing off Area 6. Now you can blow it to bits and proceed. Sweet! So, yeah. So, uh, next time, um, we actually are a little over time. So next time we'll hit Area 16, 6, 2, and 3, 14. We'll hit all those areas down there. It'll be a lot of fun. Won't you join me? <laughs> oh, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you catch me next time. Remember, if you like these videos, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash gomer21xx, and consider making a pledge. Make more videos like this possible. So until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.